Today I'm going to show you an interesting topic on calculating the days, and networking days between two dates by using binary text argument. Keep watching till the end. The scope of this worksheet to return me the number of days between two dates based on the selection of the weekdays. For example, let us say I need to calculate the total number of Mondays fallen in the year 2021. First you need to enter the first date and the last date of the year. Then select the option for Monday as open, while rest of the days are closed. Now it returned me 52 Mondays like, between any dates you can filter the number of days fallen. Also, can calculate the monthly networking days as well. Let us see how we can create such handy information worksheet in Excel. This can be done by using Excel network days.intl function, where, this will return me the networking days between two dates, and the selection of weekend arguments and holidays, the function has 17 weekend arguments that we can choose, where the argument starting 1 to 7 will give me the networking days for selected two possible weekends, and from 11 to 17 will return me the networking days for the individual weekend. Let us take the month of November 2020, if we consider our store is closed on Saturday and Sunday, then the networking days should be 21 days. Let's use the formula, and choose the defined start and end date. In this case I have to select one as a weekend argument, now it return me the networking days as 21. Which means the total number of working days are 21, considering Saturday and Sundays are weekends. If I select any argument between 11 to 17, then it will return me the networking days except the selected day as a weekend. Let me choose the argument number 11, now it returned me 25 days, which means, the networking days except Sunday is 25 in the month of November. However, starting in Excel 2010, instead of using the argument from 1 to 7 or 11 to 17 as a weekend argument, we can pass a 7 digit binary text to indicate if a company is open or closed on a customized day. Here, we must use 1, to indicate that the store is closed for the weekend, and a 0 to indicate that the store is open. In general, the binary digit 1 indicates if on, and 0 means off. But the name of the argument is weekend, so 1 means it is a day off, and 0 means you don't have the day off. Thus, if we need only Monday is open, we can use the 7 digit binary text as show in 7 digits, where it is open only on Monday, in the formula, instead of using weekend argument, we can use this 7 digit binary text as a weekend argument, thus it returned me the network days as 5. To make it simple I will add two supportive columns to generate this binary system automatically, thus I can generate the seven digits binary for weekend argument. Ok, in the first column I will add data validation list to select whether the company is open or closed on the particular day. In the binary column I will use if function to convert the binary number based on the selection of in the status column, as said earlier, if the company is closed the weekend argument should be 1, else should be used 0. So, equal, if, the logical argument will be f2, equal, close, for the true argument, I will put 1, and 0 if fails copy down the formula, and it will generate the 7 digits binary numbers for the customized weekend argument. Next, I need to join these 7 binary numbers which we have created, for this I will use Excel text join function. 
you may choose a random cell for this, I will select cell J1, and use the text join function. Hence, text join, leave the delimiter argument, and select true, as ignore empty cell, for the text argument choose our binary column. For the final touch, I will use the Excel network days.intl function in the number of working days column, hence, equal, network days.intl function, select the start and end date, for the weekend argument select the cell which we have joined the binary digits, that is J1. Then close the bracket. We have done with our worksheet. Now you can calculate the networking days based on your customized weekend days. Let's say our store is closed on Saturday and Sunday in the month of November 2020, then the networking days will be 21 days. Also the 7 digits binary has been created automatically, based on the selection of the weekend, Next, if you want to add holidays for the particular month you can add another column to list the defined holidays. For this, create a table. And convert as a table. And named as holidays. For example, I will add few holidays for the month of November. In the formula, include the holiday argument as our defined table name. You can see now the number of holidays have been deducted from 21, which is 19 networking days. This will calculate the networking days between two dates including weekends and the defined holidays. This method will help you to easily calculate your company manpower, salary, overtime etc. We have done it for today, you can download our tutorial file from the link in the description. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please make sure to like the video, comment your thoughts on this tutorial, and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more videos on Excel lessons.